Hey guys, it is me, Creator Jules, and today we are talking about confidence. Confidence, believe it or not, is something that hasn't always come naturally to me, and I wanted to share you my tips on how you can be a more confident person. Before we get into the tips, I wanted to tell you a little bit about why I wasn't always the most confident person, because I feel like people are already going to have a hard time believing that, because I get on social media, I go out to events, and I'm always so loud, and like, this is my personality, and a lot of people just don't believe that I wasn't a confident person, but actually when i was in elementary school middle school and high school i didn't have any friends i was constantly bullied i was always told that you know i just i wasn't worth anything and actually when i was really young i was so shy that i would hide behind my mother's legs so that people could not even say hello to me i eventually came out of this and i think that there's some really really important lessons that I learned about confidence and what confidence actually is versus what the world tells you that confidence is. I really believe that the more that we learn about ourselves, the more that we know about ourselves, the more confident people we are. Because I truly believe the more confident that we are, the happier that we will be. And if I can help the world be a happier place, then damn, I'm doing okay. <laughs> to me, the definition of confidence is knowing who you are beyond a shadow of a doubt. Now, does that mean that we don't have insecurities and fears? No. That just means that when those insecurities and fears do come up, we're ready for them because we know who we are. That tells you a little bit about confidence and what it is, but, you know, how do you develop confidence? So for me, for the last 23 years, 24 coming up on May 1st, woo woo, I, you know, really had to work on this. And I think that I naturally developed it in a couple of ways because of the situations and the environments that I was put in. When I was in high school, I would say I was an outgoing person. I wasn't necessarily a confident person. I was constantly questioning myself. I was chasing around what other people thought were trendy. And I was just trying to be something that I wasn't because I didn't know who I was. And I think that's the first step in finding your confidence. Understand who you are. Understanding who you are comes from doing things that you like following your curiosity, doing things without the pressure of society, friends, or family. It's really important that in order to develop confidence, you are doing things that you think are right, that are in line with your values and beliefs. If you're younger watching this and you have parents that kind of dictate how you live your life and how you do things, that's okay. You can exercise control and confidence in the areas that you do have control over, whether that's how you interact with your family, whether that's how you interact with your friends, whether that's what you do for hobbies. You get to control those instances in your life. And so make sure that when you do have those opportunities that you are present while you're doing them. Because if you're not constantly giving your thoughts and attention to those things, you're really robbing yourself of an experience. So. When you're trying to build confidence, definitely make sure that you are discovering more of who you are and really going in depth on what you would like to see for your life. What is that vision? What does that look like for you? Who do you want to become in the next 10 to 20 years? If you're older and you feel like, you know, your confidence and who you are is dictated by maybe your wife or your kids, I would encourage you with the same advice. Go find out more about who you are and what you like and what you want to do. The caveat, please don't leave your kids, please don't leave your wife or your husband. Um, that is not the advice that I'm giving here. The advice that I'm giving is to find ways to find control of your life, to discover more about who you are. Please don't abandon your families. The next step in confidence is just simply doing it. Going out, telling people what you're about, telling people what you care about, what you've been doing lately, and just talking about yourself. Get out there and be who you are relentlessly. Go overboard, go over the top. Be who you are because that's all you can be. Talk about being relentless. I don't mean shoving your ideology down other people's throats. I just mean that when you're going out into the world, you're dressing how you want to be dressed. You're talking how you want to talk. You interact with people how you want to interact. And you are so relentless about that vision that you've created for yourself by following your curiosity that it doesn't matter what other people say, you know who you are and you know what you are meant to do in this world. That, now that, that's sexy. We call that charisma. Becoming more of who you are is a true, true identifier when it comes to confidence. When people that are confident see somebody that, you know, has their hands in their pockets, isn't talking, isn't speaking their mind, 
that to us is, oh, they're not confident. They don't think that what they have to say is valuable. And let me tell you, everybody has their own point of view that makes their thoughts and their words valuable. Even if it's something dumb, even if it's just a question, it can really, really, really stir up creativity and inspiration in other people. I think that we need to be expressing our own ideas, our own questions, our own ponderings about the world because then it gets other people inspired. And I think that's what's so great about the time that we're in right now where we're all having to kind of stay at home. The only way we can connect is through social media, through video calls, walks, and going outside is that we're constantly inspiring ourselves. We're constantly talking, we're constantly connecting. I think it's really important that we do that and we do that in a way that represents who we are. If you're not a confident person, if you have a hard time talking to people about what you're passionate about, start with just your close friends and family. Um, if your friends and family probably aren't the people to talk to about that, go online. There are so many online communities that share your same beliefs and what you believe in. There's a group of people out there that love you and understand you and will accept you just for who you are. I know I will. It's important to realize that you might be lonely, at least for a little bit. I mean, I was for most of my life growing up. I didn't really have any friends, but that's okay because the more confident you become and the more you put yourself out there, the more likely you are going to find the people that resonate with you, resonate with your message, resonate with your point of view. And just make sure that you're doing it in a way that is positive and uplifting to others because if you're going out and you're trying to be confident in a way that takes down others or hurts other people, you know, you're gonna be quite lonely. <laughs> Just to be quite frank, I think confidence is a way to attract people to you. So I don't even know if I would use that as the word confidence. I feel like when people are arguing, when people don't want to listen to others or hear other people's opinions, it's because they have a deep insecurity in their own lives that they aren't being listened to. And so confidence comes from ignoring, not necessarily ignoring, but recognizing those insecurities and those feelings of fear and saying that it's okay. I know that I as a person am not those feelings or those insecurities. I know that I am loyal, I am faithful, I am kind, I am creative, I am a businesswoman, I am a badass, I am sexy, and those are the things that you should be telling yourself. Those are the things that are builders of confidence. Use these kind of tips and tricks that I've talked about today and make sure that you are building your confidence. It's not gonna happen overnight. This life that we're in is a journey and you should get to look back on your life and say, man, I remember when I wasn't a confident person and I am so proud of all the hard work that I've put in to be the person that I am today. I hope that you can say that about yourself. I hope that this video has helped you learn a little bit more about what confidence is and how you can develop confidence. Stay social and remember, you're all gems.